Okay, so here we have an animation. We need to select the part of it we want to use. I triple clicked. You can also click once and then pull an end and pull the other end to select as much or as little of the animation as you want. Um, we may decide that that's all that you need. Whatever is selected and highlighted in yellow when you click and drag with the open hand will be brought up into your movie. Just click OK on the mismatched frame rate. It's fine. Now we have part of an animation. Let's say the next thing I wanted to do was uh, add a still. I can drag that up here. Let's put in a still. If I want to make the still longer or shorter, I click on this marvelous little gear here and I can go in and adjust things. Now, you'll see here within the frame it's cropped heavily. The whole image has the whole bottle, but inside the movie frame it's cropped. We can go to cropping, Ken Burns and rotation. If you have a vertical image and you want it to appear fully, click on fit. Now you'll see that it fills the frame and there will be black on either side filling the width of the movie window. You can crop. Uh, you can crop in to a much smaller area if you want. If that's all I wanted of that, I could do that. Um, the other thing you can do with the Ken Burns effect is you can move from one area to another over the course of, and there we go, the course of the number of seconds that you have that still up for. Now, that's fine, that was really fast. Typically you don't want to have it pan for very much. Um, something like that is a little bit slower. You can actually read things if you need to read them. Um, but generally, having the still just fit the frame is going to be fine. Um, okay, so then I can click done. So now I have a still that currently is playing for four seconds. If I want to change the length, I can go to clip adjustments, change the duration. Maybe I need it for six seconds, which is a really long time. Hopefully if you have something up there for six seconds, you're saying something very, very important that has directly to do with the image and that the image is fairly complex. Um, all right, so there's a still. Let's say I wanted to put, uh, I could put a still over here at the end and let's talk about what it does. Okay, great. So uh, as you can see, it automatically goes to Ken Burns effect, which is sort of annoying, but you can go in, oops, there's a video clip. You can go in to cropping Ken Burns and rotation and merely make it fit, and then you won't have that issue. Particularly when you're seeing something like um, graphs like this, we want to be able to see it up for the full duration. You may actually want to make it a little bit longer. Okay, so we have stills, we've adjusted the stills, we've fit them, we know we can do Ken Burns effect if we want to, and we have video. Uh, the other thing we can do is add some titles. If you click on the T over here, um, we could add a bit of a title. Just drag this up. If you drag it on top of a frame, you can see that's highlighting blue, that's going to put the text right over the picture. However, I'm going to drop it ahead of that and I'm going to put, bring it up on, uh, on a background. You can pick whatever background you like. And this is where you can add a title of some sort. Be more creative than that, please. Oh, you can also change the, double click, click in. You can change the font, font size, whole bunches of things, show fonts. Um, do whatever you want. There's a color. There's a size. And I'm done. Okay. It's just really bad. Um, so. Now we have titles. Oh, you can also put subtitles, for example. Let's say you wanted to have some words scrolling over your molecule. I'm going to grab this one and put it up here. And this would need to be important information. Any text you have on a screen needs to be very, very important. 
And I would suggest not putting subtext. It's really hard to read. Um, you can also adjust the fonts here. Uh, remember that there uh, in, the, in above in the yellow is the text. And there we go. We should be all set. Okay. Um, if you double click on that, you can make it longer. Um, done. And you can change it from here if you need to, uh, with if you need it to be something else. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, the white makes it really hard to see. You'd have to change the font color, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we've made oops, we've made it a little bit longer. Now we're done. And now when we play this, we have a title that comes up, transitions abruptly. You can put in a crossfade if you want to, to the still, and that's going to transition directly to the animation with the little subtitle. So those are some options for you. Um, the other thing that you should have is audio. So those are the visuals. We're going to leave this as the visual section. And I'm going to uh, do another section on the audio. Um, oh, really quickly, if you do want transitions between things, you have a whole bunch to pick from. Subtlety is your friend here. Uh, cross dissolve, cross blur, those are good ones. The rest of them are maybe a little much, but that's up to you, and there they are. In order to use it, all you need to do, click, drag up, get that little green line, drop it right in there. Again, if you hover over, you get the little gears, and you can do some editing or add a transition adjustment. Um, as to how long it is, we can make it be a longer adjustment. Make sure if you click this, it's going to apply to all transitions. So you can do it all at once, but if you only want that one transition to be longer and not the other ones, then just be careful. Now when we play it, we have this lovely slow two-second cross-dissolve, ta-da, into the animation. Okay, so those are the visuals, and next we will do the audio. 